I'm confining myself to this farrowing cage for 24 hours to highlight the cruelty of factory farms. By the middle of next year, sale stores will be phased out. But farrowing crates still will still continue standard practice. Pigs will still be incarcerated for their entire lives. We're sending this message out to people. People have the power. We're the ones paying for factory farming to continue. In Tasmania, people can contact Brian Green. Uh, he is he's the one that who announced um, the phase out of sow stalls in Tasmania, and he um, he has a certain amount of influence there, and should be the one that you urge to push the ban further. So this is a farrowing crate. This is two metres long and 50 centimetres wide, and as you can see, it's very cramped in here. Pigs are unable to turn around and barely move. This is where they are put just before they have their piglets, about a week before birth. Until the piglets are taken away from them about three to four weeks after. This is where they stay that entire time. They're unable to nurture their young in the normal way that they would if they had the space to. The piglets are stolen away from their mum at about three to four weeks of age. They have their teeth clipped, their tails chopped off and are castrated with no pain relief. Then they are either sent on to factory farms to be fattened up for meat or the females will suffer the same fate as their mothers. I'm going to be spending 24 hours in here. It's cold, it's pretty uncomfortable. Uh, it's going to get very cold throughout the night. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I will get to go free. So unlike the pigs who spend their entire lives incarcerated, I'm going to only be suffering for a fraction of the time compared to their suffering.